Hello everyone. In this example, I'm going to show you guys how to uh, find out your standard deviation for um, best likely and worst case scenarios. So obviously, um, you know, say we're, we're doing still capital budgeting or whatnot, and we are thinking about a project, and we know, well, we're assuming that there's a chance of getting this return, chance of getting a different return, and then obviously the third return. So that we're doing best likely and worst. Okay. So um, we have to provide those. We're giving you those returns. Um, we're also going to give you the probabilities as well. So um, these are our prob probabilities for now. Uh, hopefully this problem looks familiar to you because this is the one that we did in class. So I'm going to go through it again. Hopefully I go through nice and slow so you uh, guys can um, grasp the information. Um, so let's find our weighted ERR, or our weighted expected rate of return. and that's just simply multiplying the probability times the return. So the 0.3 times the 0.08. And if you want to put these in percents, you can too. I'm just going to keep them in decimal form because in Excel it's a little bit tricky if you put them in um, percent form. So I'm going to keep it in decimal form for me. All right. So obviously for the likely one, we're doing the same thing. And again, um, in the worst case scenario. Okay. And now our expected rate of return is just simply the sum of those three. And let me just go out a few more decimal places. Alright, so 2.8%. Now, there's a column here that says return minus our expected rate of return. So this is our average, right? So how much do we deviate from the average? And that's what basically what we're asking. And that is just your return minus your expected rate of return. Okay, and I'm gonna anchor my expected rate of return because I just kind of want to drag it down. Okay, and you might want to go out a few more there. How about that? Now you square the difference, or square of difference. <coughs> Excuse me. That's just simply multiplying or taking uh, squaring this, right? Uh, so in Excel, I'm just gonna multiply it by itself. Drag that down. And now the variance is the square of difference times the probability of it occurring. Okay. And I'm going to drag this down. And we'll go out one more decimal place. Why not? For fun. And our total variance is the sum of those. Okay. Now, obviously, if I understand deviation, you take the square root of your um, variance. And that's, uh, if you're in Excel, if you're doing Excel, it's SQRT. That's what square root is. Square root of that number. And let's go out. And uh, so you get a standard deviation of 3.894%. So that, that's basically telling us that um, if we have an expected uh, rate of return of 2.8, um, it's actually 64 percent. Laura's gonna laugh at me for this, but um, we're gonna we're gonna say two thirds to make it simple. Two thirds of a chance uh, that it's gonna that our uh, rate of return is gonna fall between. Uh, let's see here. So obviously um, it's gonna be plus that and minus that. So this. Let's just do this real quick. Plus and equals this minus. Okay, so we have a two-thirds chance that we're going to get a, a rate of return between 6.69% uh, and negative 1.09%. Okay, and that's one deviation away from the mean. And that's all you need to know about standard deviation.